Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have more empties for you. I think it's been about four weeks since I posted my last empties video and if you've been following me for a little while you'll know that I post empties about every three to four weeks. It all depends on how fast it takes me to fill up this Sephora box. So uh, yeah, let's just jump right in. I hope that this video is not going to end up being too long. Um, as usual, I'm going to try and go from full size to deluxe size to foil packets. And yeah, let's just hop in. So the first thing I have here is a pack of razors. These are the Bic Soleil Shine. I got these from Buzz Agent and uh, I did not like these at all. They were like really sharp and they dragged across the skin. There was no like moisture. Even if I used a shave cream, these just, no. These were horrible. I do not recommend these at all. I used up a hand soap. This is from Bath & Body Works. It's Peach Bellini. This smelled really good. I tried to get every last little drop out of here. Definitely recommend. I love peachy scents, so this was a big hit for me. Then... I think you've seen this in my update for Finish 16 in 2016. This is the Mario Badescu Facial Spray with Aloe Herbs and Rose Water. It is all gone. I actually kind of miss it now that it's gone, but it took me over a year to use this big 8 ounce bottle up, so um, definitely worth the cost. I might consider purchasing this once I go through some other mists that I have in my collection. Then we have a non-acetone nail polish remover. I got this on like super clearance at CVS. This was like 75% off. I think I got it for like 72 cents. It was alright. Um, I think I prefer the acetone nail polish removers more, especially because I tend to use nail polishes that have glitter or shimmer in them, so the non-acetone Non acetone. The non acetone one has to work a little bit harder to get that kind of polish off, but you know, for regular cream polishes, this is great. I do have a pack of makeup wipes. Again, if you followed my empties for a while, you might not see a lot of makeup wipes in my empties. I don't use them. Um, I just don't like the idea of buying a package just to throw everything in the package away. It's just a weird concept to me. So I have about six or eight um, makeup remover cloths that are reusable, that are washable, that I use mostly to take off my makeup, but sometimes, sometimes you just want a face wipe. Um, so these were alright. These were on the older side, so they were getting a little bit dried out. Um, I had to use my micellar water to add some moisture to remove all of my makeup, but I do like the Yes to Cucumbers makeup wipes usually, and I would recommend them. I have another thing that you probably already saw if you've been watching my videos. This is the Nexus Youth Renewal Rejuvenating Elixir. This is a hair serum that you apply, and I really liked it. Um, I don't have any problems with this except for the price tag. Next empty I have is a nail polish. This is the NYC in a New York Color Minute. Um, this is the clear one in uh, Grand Central Station. I like this as a top coat, but I found that it started to do that thing where it like pulls back. I forget what that's called, but like it, it makes the polish not go to the edge of your nail. So um, I do have one more of these, but I am trying out another top coat in the meantime. Another empty I have is some cotton pads. These are the ones from Ulta. They're not my favorite, um, but these are alright. They got the job done. They're less than $3. I use them to remove eye makeup. I use them to apply toner. Um, yeah, they're fine. Another empty I have here is my Lumine CC Cream. This is in the shade Light. The SPF in this expired at the end of 2015, so I was in a big hurry to finish this up. Um, it was nice, it wasn't long wearing, but I liked the coverage and the shade was okay for me. I have a weird one that I threw in here. <laughs> this is something from the Dollar Tree and that's all the packaging I have. These are uh, from Crafter Square, they're called storage containers and there's eight in a pack for a dollar. Um, I mostly just use these to decant products. So if you've noticed, I do like to cut open a lot of my products to get every last little bit out. And when I do that, I just put them in one of these little containers. They Each one lasted a couple of uses until they started to crack. 
Um, I haven't been able to find these at Dollar Tree, so that's a little bit disappointing, but I would definitely recommend if you decant products often to check these out. I do have a pack of like baby wipes. These are the CVS Ultra Soft Cleansing Wipes. I use these to remove swatches or to wipe down my makeup area. They're good. They have a scent to it, which I'm not fond of. So, I mean, I would purchase these again, but I would probably look for an unscented variety. I think that's everything for the full-size products, and now we're just going to get into like the deluxe sizes. So let me show you the makeup that I've used up. The first one, this is the Ico Black Magic Mascara. It's not empty empty, but it's been open for over five months and it's time to just let it go. Um, I mostly use this on my lower lashes because I didn't prefer uh, the way that this made my upper lashes look. I look for something that's very volumizing and this was not that for me. Um, I'd use it again if I had it, but I wouldn't purchase the full size. Then, uh, spoiler alert for my Finish 13 by Halloween, this is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper. Um, I'm sure I could get a line out of this, but it's just super dry, um, and you can see, you know, it's not super black, it's not uh, opaque anymore, so I'm going to call it done. Uh, this lasted a very long time, so I'm very pleased with that, and I do have another little mini of this to use up. Then we have the brow gel that was giving me hell. Um, this is the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. It lasted a ridiculously long time for being a sample size. Uh, this has 0 .085 fluid ounces and it lasted so so long. Um, I'm sure I could probably use this again, but it's like I'm scraping the edges and I'm just ready to move on to the next brow gel, which is the Ulta brow tint that I have in my Finish 13 by Halloween. One more deluxe mini makeup item that I finished up. This is from The Balm. This is their Balm Desert um, like bronzer blush. I repressed this like three times to get every last little bit out of this. I am so proud of myself for finishing this up. I really liked this, um, but considering how long this took me to use up, I'm not sure if I would buy the full size. Um, I would definitely use another mini. Um, it's really making me realize how much product is in a bronzer and how I don't need many bronzers. I actually only have two left right now, which is my Body Shop Honey Bronzer and my Revlon Photo Ready Bronzer, and that's plenty for me. But yeah, I like this. I have a boring one. This is the Secret Clinical Strength Clear Gel. I don't like gel deodorants, I'm realizing. It was okay. Um, I think I have another little mini of this to use up. I think I have a couple little gel deodorants to use, but um, after I finish up what I have, I'm not going to purchase them anymore. Then I have a shower gel. This is the um, Bath & Body Works Love & Sunshine. These little guys last me forever. Um, I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like the Bath & Body Works body washes are like ultra concentrated and these last me like weeks and weeks and weeks. I liked the smell, no complaints at all. I used up a moisturizer, this is the Dr. Jart Liftra Contour Cream. I felt like this was way too heavy and a little bit sticky for my face, so I don't think I would purchase this. I used up the number 4 uh, Super Comb Prep and Protect, did not like this. This was a really strong, weird fragrance. I don't feel like it did much for my hair either. Then I have the Bliss Triple Oxygen Instant Energizing Mask. I do like this, and uh, I got a lot of uses out of this. Even though it was really tiny, it was like 5 milliliters, I think I got like 6 or 8 uses out of this. Um, yeah, it's a really good bubble mask. Then the Michelle Dermaceuticals Refining Sugar Cleanser. I wanted to like this. I wanted it to be like that Suki exfoliator, but this was kind of underwhelming. I don't feel like it did much. I did finish up another toner. This is the Mario Badescu Glycolic Acid Toner. It was okay. I don't feel like it did much for my face. I am using another glycolic acid toner right now, and I think I like it a lot better than this one. Next, another moisturizer, Garnier Skin Active Clearly Brighter. Uh, brightening and Smoothing Daily Moisturizer. I really like this. I have a lot of this in my collection. Um, but it's really good. I feel like it helps with the texture on my face. It moisturizes without feeling heavy or greasy. And it leaves my face ready for makeup prep. Another moisturizer. This is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel. This was pretty good. Um, I don't remember too much about this. 
but I feel like I liked it. I also used up an eye cream. This is from Allergenest. It's the ultimate anti-aging eye cream. Um, I don't see any hype about this. It was moisturizing, but not enough for me. I find lately that the like skin right around the outside edges of my eye have been getting really dry, even after using eye cream. It just doesn't feel moisturized enough, so this was not enough for me, and I wouldn't purchase it, especially due to the uh, high price tag. I think I showed this already um, in one of my project updates. This is the Liz Earl Eye Bright Soothing Eye Lotion. I just don't need a product like this. You basically just like pour this onto a cotton pad and like press it under the eyes. It's just supposed to help revitalize your eyes before like putting on your eye cream or starting your day or whatever. Eh, meh. I finished up the Bosha Luminizing Black Mask. This is just 0.7 fluid ounces. I love this mask. I feel like it does a lot of great things for my skin. Um, I do have another peel off like charcoal black mask from Daiso and I'm curious to see how it compares, but this is really good. Then we have the CeraVe Healing Ointment. I used this on my feet and I have another one that I'm using now, but I feel like it's not hydrating enough. Um, I I'll put this on my feet after I shower and then put socks on and my feet still feel dry and scratchy after this. I have one razor head. This is from Dollar Shave Club. This is from the Executive Pack. I like these a lot actually and they're pretty affordable. Um, I'm happy that I have more to go through. And we have the Kiehl's Clearly Corrective Skin Brightening Exfoliator and I scraped it to get every little bit out. Um, truthfully, I finished this up a couple weeks ago and I don't remember much about it, so I do apologize. So now I'm going to jump into face masks and then after that we'll do like foil packet samples. Um, most of my face masks I do post reviews of on my Instagram and if I do have a review for it, I will have it linked in the description bar. I'm, I'm seriously not joking when I say that I used up a lot of sheet masks in the past four weeks. Like, what? What? Okay, let's do, I have um, one eye mask first. This is the Crystal Collagen Gold Powder Eye Mask. Um, I got this in a set of like 10 for product review. Um, I do like product reviews on Amazon um, in exchange for like discounts or free product. Um, I'll have some information on how you can get started on that if you'd like to. It's not a referral or anything. Um, I just don't really talk about it because I don't want anybody sniping my free product. But <laughs> anyway, I tried these out. Um, I didn't care for these. I found that they really like made my under eyes burn um, and made them feel just hot. And I didn't like that. Um, so these were a pass. I have this Tony Moly I'm Real Vitality Broccoli Mask Sheet. This one was pretty good. Um, it doesn't smell like broccoli, it just smells like fresh. I like the fit of these masks and I like um, the essence that's in them and how long that they last for. Um, I, I I love Tony Moly masks. I do highly recommend them. I just, um, I don't think that they're worth paying like Ulta or Sephora prices for them. Um, definitely check out different um, Asian beauty or Korean beauty websites or even Amazon for a better deal on them. This is the Leaders in Solution Collagen Boosting Renewal Mask. I won this in a giveaway from Leaders. I didn't care for this one. I found that um, it just left my face feeling sticky and shiny. So it was just a little bit too much for my skin. But if you do have um, more mature skin, this might be better for you. Next, we have the Pure Smile Nani Essence Mask. I can't find this anywhere online, so I think that these this is pretty old. Um, but I couldn't find an expiration date on here. It smelled fine. It felt fine. I didn't have any adverse reactions. Um, this one actually has like a, a flap underneath the eye where you can like put it on your eye if you'd like to lay down and rest and close your eyes. So that was interesting. I love the way that this smelled. It was super tropical. I actually really like this mask and I wish that they had this still. Next, the Pure Lease um, Blue Lotus and Seaweed Treatment Sheet Mask for moisturizing, soothing, and balancing. This was pretty good. Not worth $8 each, but I liked it and I'm happy that I got it in a divvy. Then we have, what is this, Etude House Mugwort 
or I Need You Mugwort for soothing and brightening. This is pretty good. I can't remember too much about it off the top of my head, but again, for any of these sheet masks, check my description box and I will link any reviews. Then Nature Republic Real Nature Mask Sheet Green Tea. This one was pretty good as well. I got this in that Pink Soul box and I liked it. It was pretty good. Then I used up four sheet masks from the same brand. Um, I received these for free in exchange for my review. So I think I posted reviews for these three and then this one I, I just didn't. Um, or actually I did, but it was later on. Um, so these are from a brand called Ultru, and the line is called I'm Sorry For My Skin. And they have different ones. These are all jelly essence masks, which are so interesting. It's a really thick, like, jelly, and you'd think that it would be sticky on your face, but it's not at all. It's so luxurious feeling, and each of these had a ton of essence left over. It was just incredible. So this one has ice cream on it and it's for pore care. This one has smoke on it and it's for relaxing. This one has a beer on it and it's for revitalizing. And this one has coffee on it and it's for brightening. So I really liked all four of these. Check my Instagram for in-depth reviews. I do have one perfume sample empty before we get into foil packets. This is the Elizabeth and James Nirvana Black. I really like the way that this smells. Um, this is definitely like a date night or nighttime kind of perfume, um, but I definitely like it and I would ha be happy to use more of this. We've got two samples from Sephora. The first one is the Peter Thomas Roth 24 Karat Gold Mask. I posted a review on this. Um, I don't feel like it did a lot for my skin, truthfully, and it didn't look as fancy as I thought it would based on like product shots. Then I also have a sample here. It's just labeled mask primer. Um, I went into Sephora before I got my Sephora Playbox and I asked the sales associate to make me a sample of the Origins Maskimizer, which comes in a spray. And he was so confused. He didn't know how to give me a sample. Um, but I, I suggested putting it into a little fragrance sample vial, which he did. And um, yeah, I think think that I liked this, I just, I'm not sure it's worth the price tag, but I do have that other sample that I got in my Sephora play box, so we'll see how it goes. Um, I think that just using a toner or a spray like mist would give you the same effect as the maskimizer, but who knows. I have a ton of samples to get through, so I'm just going to give little blurbs and hopefully we'll get through this fast. This is the Nude Omega Cleansing Jelly. This is just... Um, like a like a cleansing balm. Um, it was okay, not my favorite type of cleanser, but meh. Benefit Puff Off. This is a eye cream. It was fine. I got one use out of it. I didn't see dramatic results. Uh, Laneige Water Sleeping Mask. I felt like this is not as hydrating as the water water moisture water bank moisture cream. Um, so I would pass on that for me. Finish the L'Oreal. Uh, Age Perfect Hydro Nutrition Eye Balm. This is pretty good, but it's mostly just mineral oil, so uh, it's not a standout product. Murad Hydrodynamic Ultimate Moisture. I don't remember much about this, so meh. This you probably saw me use on camera. This is the Too Faced Glitter Glue. It was really good. Um, I don't know if I use glitter enough to justify the full size. I do have the e.l.f. Glitter Eye Primer, so um, we'll see how it compares used the Ola Henriksen Ultimate Lift Eye Gel. I did not care for this. I didn't feel like it was moisturizing enough, so I passed on the other samples that I had of this. Nukes Regenerating Night Cream for Visible Lines. Not a standout product, also fragranced. Pass. Ahava Uplift Night Cream, heavily fragranced, it didn't do much for my face. Pass. Uh, Avalon Organics Intense Defense Cleansing Milk. This was actually a pretty standout product. I liked this for cleansing my face in the mornings. Um, sometimes I'll use micellar water, sometimes I'll use a cleanser, and this was actually pretty good. Then the Luke Charcoal Nose Cleansing Strip. I posted a review on my Instagram of this. If you'd like to see that, I'll link it down below. Pulled out a lot of gunk out of my face, and these are like 65 cents a piece, so super cheap. 
the Ahava Beauty Before Age Uplift Day Cream. Not a stand-up product. Not worth the price tag. Uh, Olay Regenerist Micro Sculpting Cream, fragranced, and didn't do anything special for my face either. Oh god. The Estee Edit Dissolve the Drama 2-in-1 Makeup Remover and Cleanser. Burn the crap out of my eyes. No thank you. Not worth it. Uh, Bosha Purifying Cleansing Gel. Actually really, really nice, and I'd like to use more of this. I don't know how to pronounce this. Color Science, Color Science Face Primer for Skin Calming. It was alright. Um, it was sort of like the texture of professional, but I don't know if it's anything that I would seek out. Pure Hydrate and Balance Correcting Primer. I actually like this and I would like to try out more of it, but I wouldn't want to go, like, run out for the full size. Lancome Visionaire Nuit Beauty Sleep Perfector, heavily fragranced. It did okay, but again, not worth the price tag. Okay, and we're down to the nitty gritty. I have three more little things here. This is a set of Garnier Whole Blends, um, Honey Treasure, Shampoo and Conditioner. I really like this, and I'm happy that I have a little like mini duo to try out too. And then I have two sets of the uh, Clairol Hair Food. They're both the Moisture line with uh, Honey Apricot. I like these a lot. Um, I wish that I didn't have a whole shelf full of shampoo and conditioner because I would probably buy the Garnier or the Clairol hair food in a heartbeat. They were both pretty good. So, I am so happy that this box is empty again. I don't think I can go four weeks without doing an empties because that review time was ridiculous. Um, thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you endured this entire video, I greatly appreciate it. Like this video if you like empties. Subscribe to my channel if you aren't already, and I will catch you all in my next video. Bye guys!